Welcome back to City 7 News. Ten people were injured in a six-car pileup in Khantut along the Abu Dhabi Dubai Highway today. Abu Dhabi police said the accident happened around 5.30 a.m. Ten people were injured in the accident and four are in critical condition. Officials are investigating what could have caused it. A bid to smuggle 42 endangered monkeys into the UAE through the Al Ghwafat border check post has been foiled by the Ministry of Environment and Water. The attempt was halted by quarantine veterinarians at the checkpoint in affiliation with the Abu Dhabi Customs Authority. The monkeys have been quarantined for necessary checkups so as to guarantee that they are free from epidemic diseases. The UAE joined the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, or CITES, in 1990, which ensures that there is no trade in animals and wild plants. Anyone found guilty of importing or exporting endangered species will be handed a jail term of not more than six months plus a fine of up to 50,000 dirhams. Dubai paddle surfers are making waves in the UAE. Following a week-long surf competition, a few residents took to the paddle in Kanduras to promote the first ever Dubai Kandura Stand-Up Paddle Challenge. We're here at Msikame Open Beach, also known as Sunset Beach, for the inaugural Stand-Up Paddle Challenge. As usual, it's a glorious day here in Dubai, and you're in for a real treat. It's not every day you get to see Emiratis in full national dress paddle surfing. The Kandura Stand-Up Paddle Challenge is the brainchild of the founders of Surf Dubai. Surf Dubai was established in 2005, and as Scott said, it's the first surf school in the, in the region and um, it's rapidly growing. When we, when we first started surfing here in the region, there was about 10, 10 or so surfers, maybe 15 max. And um, if you look at the surf um, uh, culture right now and where, where it's grown, it's massive. We're really looking to get more Emiratis involved in the sport. Um, right now, just um, we're trying to involve a lot more of them and get them into the water, um, getting them active, helping to kind of fight against diabetes, which we all know is a big problem here in Dubai. And uh, yeah, it's an amazing form of exercise and, and promotes a, a great healthy lifestyle. Stand-up paddle, also known as SUP, originates from the Polynesian cultures of Hawaii, where stand-up paddle was used not just for sport, but also for transportation. Paddle surfers stand on long boards and use a single paddle to maneuver the waves. So how did this ancient form of transportation find its way to the UAE? At the ISA, we have different, we're the International Federation recognized by the Olympic Committee. And our main job is to promote the sport and take it to places where it doesn't exist, like the Middle East. At the ISA, we believe that uh, with the right people, that we have the right partners that we found in Dubai, uh, this will be a very good starting point uh, to expand the board uh, culture, including surfing, stand-up surfing, which is just ideal. As the UAE is slowly becoming an international sports hub, from Formula One to UFC fighting and international cricket, Organizers of the SUP Challenge hope to add surfing to that list. But this event also hopes to promote water sports right here at home, among young nationals and the wider community. Stand-up paddle is a, is a great way to keep fit. People need to get out, get active, get back in the water, get back to our roots and our heritage. For stand-up paddling, which you're seeing behind us at the moment, is perfect conditions for it year-round. You've got perfect weather conditions, perfect water conditions. As Fahim said, it's important to get the, get the kids involved. I mean, it's good to, get, good to offer them as many... Um, sporting options as possible and this definitely provides one. As the Emirates recently became an official International Surf Association member, Dubai is sure to see more events like this. With great weather, free beaches and some form of waves all year round, what more could residents ask for? June Lee, City 7 News. Light rain fell in the coastal areas of the Emirates last night and early this morning along with strong winds that pushed down temperatures. According to the Met Department, northwesterly winds have been making the sea rough along with kicking up dust and sand in different open areas across the Emirates. Sporadic rain and winds are expected tonight and tomorrow. And with that, here's a look at temperatures across the UAE today.
Well, that's all we have for now. Please feel free to send us your feedback to news at city7tv.com or you can always call us on 04-367-2254. You can also watch our news bulletins anytime on city7tv.com and do join the City 7 News Facebook group. For now, from the news team, it's goodbye.